हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव सिविक्स क्लास सेवन वुमेन चेंज द वर्ल्ड दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो ऑलरेडी आई सेट सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉन्टिन्यू द टॉपिक इन प्रीवियस वीडियो यू हैव सीन अबाउट द फ्यूअर अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड दिस एक्सपेक्टेशन लेसर अपॉर्चुनिटीज वर यूज टू गिवन टू द गर्ल्स टू द फीमेल्स but people were expected too much from them and learning for change was the topic on that i explain uh, if we want to change in our society if we want to change ourselves that we have to learn we have to prove in front of the society that girls can do everything they are in each and every field already i discuss so today's topic is schooling and education today what type of schools and what type of first education is to be given today it is going to be giving so today both girls and boys attend school in large number there are quite schools are there co education is giving by the government by the our constitution it has been mentioned there will not be a separate school for the boys and girls there would there would be a co education yet there are some still difference between the education of boys and girls india has a census every 10 years which counts the whole population of the country it also gathers detailed information about the people living in india their age their schooling what work they do and so on there are several reasons why children from dalit from adivasis muslim girls have the school before than normal girls do in the rural and poor areas there are neither proper schools no teachers are available there are very less number of schools are there and very far places and poor people they are not able to afford the school fees so that's why i already explained in class uh, uh, in chapter 1 there are government schools anganwadis uh, there they are giving the education but Uh, but also food they are providing schools are often far away from people's home and there is no transport like buses or vans available for girls so parents are not willing to send their girls to school now we are talking about the rural areas they people, parents are not ready to send their child to the school because of the no transport is available so it is very difficult for the girls to get the education in rural areas many families are poor and unable to bear the cost of educating all their children in this situation boys get preference many children face discrimination from their teacher and classmates too their are discrimination is to be done is to be giving by the uh, some uh, schooling some teachers and all women's movement women started the movement they started the campaigning raising awareness protesting and showing solidarity why they started these all things because to get their rights because women got fed up to sit at home and the boys were getting a more privilege than the girls so they started the movement women and girls now have the right to study and go to school the situation has improved in other spheres like legal reforms violence and health women individually and collectively have struggled a lot to bring these changes they started the struggle they get together they raised their voice in front of the government and they started the struggle this struggle is known as the women's movement different strategies have been used to spread awareness fight discrimination and seek justice for women there are some struggles which already i have discussed campaigning they started the campaigning 
an important part of the women's movement was campaigns campaigns have led to the making of new laws they started a campaign why to to reach their voice to the government a law was implemented in 2006 against domestic violence which states that women who face physical and mental violence within their homes will get some legal protection they will be protected by the government they can uh, they can raise their voice they can do the complaints against them the supreme court formulated guidelines in 1997 to protect women against sexual harassment at the workplace and within educational institutions there are so many provisions there are so many laws has been made to protect the women now the dowry laws were changed to punish families who seek dowry those who ever are demanding for the dowry they are getting the punishment and so showing solidarity the women's movement is also about showing unity with other women and cause and raising awareness now women are very much aware about their workplace about their right in the society and all an important part of the women's movement's work is to raise public awareness they started to raise their voice to aware the public to aware the other women and protesting next topic is protesting the women take out public rallies they started the rallies demonstrations to draw attention to injustice those who ever are doing injustice with the women they can raise their voice against them so this chapter is completed now uh, you have to see these two or both videos and understand the chapter thank you very much